Hello and welcome, this is Rufamonger, and in this video I want to talk about Goku Blue, or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku Blue. Uh, the Goku what has the blue hair. Uh, so with the new patch that recently came out, obviously a lot of characters came out of the patch pretty dang good. You know, most characters got stuff that they wanted. Uh, obviously, you know, some got more than others, and uh, specifically I have three characters picked here. Uh, Goku Blue, Nappa, and Zamasu, and I feel like these guys made out the best out of everybody. Um... For Nappa specifically, like Nappa got so many changes. Like Nappa got like the most buffs. Uh, Nappa, like once again, new character. You can do stuff like uh, you can easily mid-screen do snapbacks now and any given combo. That's kind of crazy. Uh, all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, Zamasu, uh, we have uh, the auto combo change that turns the final hit into the grab, and we showed that off in uh, the visual guide for the patch because how strong that is. And stuff like while he's flying. His slice now causes a new and improved knockdown, which you can combo directly into his hell zone grenade, and you can combo out of it very easily. For something like this. And keep in mind too, he's one of the few characters. Uh, his other super doesn't scale. So hell zone into uh, the level one, that works out great. So yeah, a lot of good chances for him. Uh, but for Goku Blue specifically, I feel like he is the winner of the patch. Now, uh, is the changes he got as drastic as, say, Nappa? No, no, no. But uh, in the end, he's still a much better character than Nappa. And I'm not trying to say he's the best character in the game or anything far from it. Uh, but I feel like in both terms of character strength and character awareness... Uh, Goku Blue definitely made out like a bandit in this patch. Because uh, not only... Uh, and once again, in my personal opinion, and I've said this many times in the past, I've always thought Goku Blue is a good character, a strong character even, right? Uh, but with the changes uh, he has now, you can no longer debate this character's strength. So what are some of the changes that made Goku Blue the winner, in my opinion? Uh, well, one of the things, and I know this is a very small change, but the small changes do matter, is the range buff on Stand M. So Stand M can hit from a goodly while away, as you can see, but it can even hit from beyond just slightly beyond the round one fight position so it is is like truly and honestly a threat neutral you have to respect it because you can get a full combo from just off anything pretty much uh obviously uh the big one a lot of people are talking about is the shoulder changes so he's got shoulder loops now and so on and so forth as you can see there uh, so the shoulder loops are tricky, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, the later in the combo, the higher the hit stun decay gets. Uh, it gets uh, exponentially more difficult to get a shoulder loop in. Uh, but that said, um, you can still take advantage of it very easily, in fact, uh, with some auto uh, timing combo. So uh, let's say here, and we'll turn on our inputs and our damage here, uh, just kind of a basic bread and butter combo for you to use for Goku Blue. And right there too, with that, we have our fancy new sliding knockdown. That is another very big deal. Uh, one of the most critical weaknesses of Goku Blue before was the fact that he had extreme difficulty providing a sliding knockdown a lot of combos without just doing the most basic of B&Bs, right? So we have that. Another thing too, I'm talking about shoulders being buffed here. Uh, in that combo specifically, uh, medium ground to shoulder got a damage buff. Uh, that was an old route here before that gave a lot of wall bounce stuff, as you can see there, obviously. So that's really cool, too. And say on that specific b, &B uh, if you want to end with a super anyways, you might as well do it just slightly differently and get a little bit more damage. So something like this here. And that's uh, just a smidge over 5k for a scaling starter for one bar. And honestly, that's a little bit better than average. That's uh, not wildly better than average or nothing, but still a little bit better than average. And yes, you can sneak an extra loop in there for just a smidge more damage, as you can see there. Uh, it's uh, tricky. Uh, you got to do a lot of delay of your buttons, but it is possible if you want to just sneak in that extra loop to the B&B as well. 
So combo stuff is better. Uh, we can get sliding knockdowns off stuff already. That you're like that's already well and good, right? Another thing, and it's not a big buff, but uh, command grab's got a small damage buff. Uh, his command grab suit honestly is somewhat comparable to Broly's. Uh, you know something I know very well myself, right? Uh, he's a character you absolutely have to respect in terms of command grabs. Like the light is, I got a slight uh, startup nerf, but it's still fast enough to catch people. Uh, you still gotta respect it in a lot of different manners, cause you know, you can just catch you know, pretty much any old thing with it, right? And get a sliding knockdown too now, thanks to that. In the corner as well, you get a full combo off the medium grab, like straight up. Uh, it's a pretty big deal. So, for a single bar here, 4.5k, or sorry, 4.5k, and yeah, for a single grab in the corner, that's pretty respectable. Uh, once again, the, the the main grab, the damage self of the hit got buffed just a smidge. Uh, but uh, one thing, well, once again, because people didn't really give Goku Blue much respect before, is his command grab suite is something that you have to respect, right? Uh, so for something that was already such a fantastic cool uh, tool, getting a little better in damage, and plus the combos in the corner being a lot better on top of that, uh, just it's fantastic for him all around. Teleport kicks got a really big tracking buff. Uh, you've probably seen stuff like this before here And yeah, that works really good now uh, both in like say, you know uh, Specific combos in the corner here and you just keep following up uh, Say you yourself are cornered here like you know, hey, that's as realistic as the starter gets right? So if, say if you are uh, in the corner yourself and Follow through and all of a sudden hey now they're the ones in the corner and I dropped the combo. We get the idea, right? Uh, so that's really good and despite the fact that it says that the uh, block stun has been nerfed uh, Don't let that fool you because these moves are still super advantage on block If uh, you block this move it is your turn and true plus on block moves are very rare in this game as always You generally got to burn assist to be plus on block, right? Uh, so a solo plus on block move, which he's always had once again, this character has been pretty good before uh, That is awesome on top of all the new utility it now has Plus, you know, there's fun stuff. You dive kick having a new animation. Heck, it even auto makes itself safe on block. So if it gets blocked for whatever reason, he automatically teleports in the air. Uh, free as a bird, no fuss, no muss. He is just gone, no worries about it. He's going to teleport up and then from there you can air dash or do whatever you want, right? So that is also really neat. But yeah, that's just some of the stuff in the patch that uh, I find uh, makes Goku Blue just a much better character than he already was. And once again, I always thought he was a really good character. Uh, but yeah, there's just that and like, you know, uh, just stuff like this. Like, you know, hey, here's a block string. It's only a, a couple frames negative and it's all one true block string. Don't need an assist. Don't need nothing to keep yourself safe, right? A lot of people, you know, they got to stagger their pressure, uh, work in a gimmick called the assist to keep themselves safe. Like Goku Blue, ah, he doesn't have to worry about that kind of stuff, right? Uh, and, and once again, there's tons of stuff that already exists that uh, that already has been in place for a long time that he has for in terms of strategies, gimmicks, combos, all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, so to me, Goku Blue is the winner of this patch. Not because he got the most buffs or na maybe even not even the biggest buffs because I do think that's Nappa. Uh, but... I think he's a character that has gone from being criminally underutilized to the point where now a lot of people are like, oh man, yeah, Goku Blue's really strong and people are starting to realize it. Uh, the buffs are certainly the icing on the cake, but they're just really helping the shrine through what was already there. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of them in the future. But his assist still sucks in my opinion. <laughs> uh, I still don't like the assist. But besides all that, hey, Goku Blue, pretty dang good. Anyways, that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.